Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications on future uploads. Hello everyone, Simon Bard here, or you can call me Sully. In resuming Sullaween, I'm going to be doing something completely different. For I'm about to review a book. A classic Halloween one that came out in 1986 and one that I'm very familiar with since I was a child. The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. I'm going to be doing this will be very simple. I will be reading the entire book while showing you the illustrations, and when it's all finished, I'll go over my final thoughts on this book. So, let's get started. The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams, illustrated by Megan Lloyd. There was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And the shoes went clop, clop. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path. But behind her she could hear two shoes go clop clop. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on. But behind her she could hear... Two shoes go clop clop, and one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and on she walked, a little bit faster. But behind her she could hear, Two shoes go clop clop, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, and one shirt go shake shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap clap, and the hat went nod nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves, and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said, and on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her she could hear, Two shoes go clop clop, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, Two gloves go clap clap, and one hat go nod nod. By now the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, Boo! Boo! This time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her she could hear, Two shoes go clop clop, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock knock on her door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Two shoes go clop clop, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. I have an idea, 
said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded, and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night, closed the door, and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early. She went to her window and looked out into her garden. What do you think she saw? Two shoes go clop clop, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, one scary pumpkin head go boo boo, and scare all the crows away. The End So the book itself is quite charming. The wording is nice and understandable, the illustrations are sweet, and it's a good read for the Halloween season. And while I liked it a little when I was a kid in elementary school, I like it, if not enjoy it more nowadays. It's a classic Halloween book and for good reason. The sense of fun spooks without going overboard and the feeling of autumn can be seen here. It's all quite unique and lovely. And this book will be given a rating of three jack-o'-lanterns. And that is it. So if you will join me, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, support me on Patreon, and until next time for the conclusion of Stelloween. Thank you.